Hey guys, it's me. If you are new, welcome to my channel. If you are still tuning in, thank you so much for doing so. Today, I'm, I would like to go back in time of the fall classics. Um, since it's that time of year again, I want to at least do a little bit of a nice protein fall treat that you can definitely do. So, I got my all my essentials. So right now, let's go back to the fall. All right, so you heard of caramel apples. So I'm going to make Apples with peanut butter and some cubed cheese. I take a little bit off just because it's right near the stem. Since I took that off, I'm going to do at least three slices of apple. One. Got two. I'm not holding it at the right angle, but This is one of my go-to fall treats. I know you can't really see it. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you, voila. Next step, I put a little bit of peanut butter on the actual apple. You can use caramel, but since I don't have caramel, I'm going to be using peanut butter. Peanut butter has a lot of protein in it, so I try just a little bit, not so much. Even though I have a lot on my knife, I'm going to evenly put a little bit on each apple. And it's going to be delicious. I love fall, especially when it's sweater weather like I am right now. I'm fine wearing long sleeves. We've been having some weird weather lately. It's been kind of warm, but it, it's still like, it's cool like in the early morning. Look how perfectly round this is. It's so cute. Okay. Evenly spread that on. Perfect. It's like a cute little Usually, if you want to, you can lick your fingers off, but I'm actually going to, to not do that. You should never do that, like, at another person's house, but since I'm in my own house, then that's when I lick my fingers. Since I am all done with the apple, and the peanut butter. I, this is not the plate without a little bit of an unlikely source. So this is to actually one and a half, maybe two 
slices. If I put this together, it would be two. But it's not complete without a little bit of cheese. Apples and cheese is a really good combination, especially for the fall time. I don't do that much. I just do five cubes of cheese. If I really want to, like I'll have like crackers on them, but I only let myself do one by the day. But yes, this is my beautiful treat of all time. Voila. If you want to, you can always put cheese on top of it if you want. Just to make it like a delicious treat. I'm going to because I want to see what it tastes like. Mmm. It's delicious. And you don't have to do it just for a fall treat. You can easily do it for a cute little uh, appetizer if you're going out um, with some friends. You can do like a small little gathering and you want some kind of appetizer. This is the best appetizer you can do. It's by doing a cheese, apple, a cheese, and fruit tray. And this is the perfect way to go. But yes, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I enjoy making this for all of you. And happy almost Halloween.